A cannabis crackdown on Long Island. Store owners accused of illegally selling THC gummies to children. So the question tonight, how are these businesses still open? Here's Stacey Sager. Our cameras rolling this afternoon as this smoke shop clerk is busted here in West Hempstead. Narcotics officers had just made an undercover buy after reports that the shop was selling THC and cannabis gummies to minors. They say you're selling to kids. You selling to kids? No comment, but he's now facing a felony count. The message, even though cannabis is now legal to smoke in New York State, you still can't sell it without a proper license. And right now, that is nowhere in Nassau County. We believe they know the law, but their answer is, oh, I didn't know it was, I was inside Nassau County. I didn't know. We do not have municipalities who have approved the sale of marijuana. Uh, we believe that it's wrong. And yet the sales continue. So why do they stay in business? Police say it's the markup. They can spend $5 on THC gummies and then sell them to teenagers for $30. And these THC vape pens, the price tag is $70. While New York City takes the approach that it's now safest to regulate through licensing, Long Island seems to be moving in a different direction, regulating through law enforcement. This as troubling numbers have emerged on a national level regarding children under six who've consumed cannabis edibles, which often resemble candy. According to U.S. Poison Control, the number has risen from 207 to more than 3,000. That's a 14-fold increase in just four years. Also, we've had overdoses as low as 14, 15, and 16 year olds that intentionally ate a gummy. And when you chew that gummy with the THC in it, it doesn't go in right away. So you think it didn't do nothing. You pop a couple more and then it catches up very fast. They say they've seen Turned at least a dozen fine, cases like that but, this past year. Meanwhile, this smoke shop here on Hempstead Turnpike smacked with seven violations from the town of Hempstead and padlocked today. But police say as long as there's potential for profit, the problem is here to stay.